What's up, YouTube? I'm Dead Free Joel. Unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably heard that Joe Biden has announced a student debt relief program today, where people who make less than $125,000 a year qualify for some level of federal loan uh, forgiveness. So here are the details. If you make less than $125,000 a year and you have federal student loans, you're going to qualify for at least $10,000 in forgiveness. If you've had Pell Grants, um, let's say when you first took out your student loans when you were an undergrad, for example, you qualify for an additional $10,000, which gives you a total of $20,000 in student loan debt. So what are uh, student loan debt forgiveness? So what are Pell Grants? Pell Grants are basically government-assisted grants that are given to folks who have severe financial needs. Um, those are the folks that you think about people who are on minimum wage, people who had um, severe financial difficulties when they were first applying for student loans, you had to fill out paperwork on their behalf. So if you had those type of loans, technically speaking, you would qualify for $20,000 in uh, student loan forgiveness. Now, here are some interesting things I think that you need to know as someone who's watching this video. If you've been to my channel before, you know we don't BS over here. Here are the facts. The fact is that you know, over the next couple of weeks, they're gonna send out more information on how you can qualify for this. So this is not just gonna be something that's overnight, right? They're not just gonna press a button in the system and everybody who has federal student loans at this point is just gonna be forgiven $10,000. You're gonna to have to be able to prove your income, right? Remember that the limit on the income amount is $125,000. The other aspect of this that is pretty interesting is that they're gonna do this over the next couple of months, probably, and at the top of the year, they're gonna reinstate the student loan um, payments again, right? So everybody who has federal student loans are gonna to have to start making those payments again as of the top of the year. Now, why is this important? Number one, you're gonna have midterm elections in November, right? The timing of this is absolutely convenient. They know what they're doing. What they're gonna to try to do is galvanize the base so that Democrats don't lose both the House and the Senate. This is why they're doing this at this time. Remember, they had a year and a half to do this, but they're doing it now. But what's equally important is why is it that Joe Biden is waiting now to do it in the way that he's doing it? You see, Joe Biden is not doing this going through Congress, right? If you remember your civics class from back in the day, the power of the purse string is with Congress, right? If you wanna you know, have money appropriated for something, it has to be done in Congress. Well, there's a reason why President Trump, President Obama, President Bush never did anything like this because they never had the executive power to be able to do this. What Joe Biden is actually doing here is he's using the COVID powers that he has and declaring this an emergency. So what's basically happening is he's taking this whole like um, powers that he has at this point um, as being president during COVID and using that as a way to pass $336 billion in relief for student loan debt. Now, why do you care about this? It's because it's likely going to be challenged in the courts. Remember, this is not going through Congress, and I'm pretty sure there are going to be a lot of people who are going to start suing the federal government or suing, I should say, the Biden administration on, on, because they're going this route. They're going to forgive student loans via an executive power versus going through Congress. This is why you should care. If it goes into the courts, there is a chance that the student loans won't go through. The reason why is because, again, it didn't go through Congress. And if it gets to the Supreme Court, it's conservative leaning. If you look at all the judicial um, reviews and, and judgments that they've put out over the last couple of years, you'll see it's lean more and more conservative and they restrict the executive branch's reach and power. So you better hope that um, this does not go to the courts. If this goes to the courts and they start to question whether or not President Biden actually has the authority to forgive this level of student loans, there's a very good chance that this may not go through. This is why it's interesting that it's happening over the next three months because folks have enough time to put up a litigation against it and rush it through the courts. So you are gonna see some, some level of this. Um, so things that you need to look out for, number one, look out for more information from the White House as it pertains to how to fill out these forms. Um, number two, you're going to probably try to figure out what a Pell Grant is and try to go through that. I'm going to put a video out on how to determine if you have a Pell Grant. Um, but one thing to determine is maybe you can just call your undergrad and ask what type of loans that I have and they should probably be able to tell you. Um, and also take a look on the headlines to see if this starts to go to court. If it does, pay very close attention. There is a good chance that this does not go through in, in terms of the courts because they may reverse it and say that um, Joe Biden does not have the executive power um, or, you know, from an executive branch power to actually pass these student loans. 
I promise you there's no other video on YouTube that's going to tell you that because most people are not following that type of realm. But if you really look at it from a judicial standpoint, he may not have the power to actually do this. Um, so leave your comments below. Feel free to hit me up if you have any questions. Uh, feel free to follow me on Instagram. It's at Debt Free Joel. It's the same channel as YouTube. We put a ton of information in there about finance in terms of uh, investing, saving, and most importantly, charity. I'm going to keep putting videos out about the student loan thing. I think it's going to be really interesting over the next few months. Um, but if you have any questions, if you have any comments, put it down below and keep your money up.